Well, I think that for me it was a natural and growing interest in science. It was not something that sparkled out of nowhere. Um, I do not like repetitive tasks and I was certain that I did not want a 9 to 5 job, a sit behind the desk job, so I always liked uh, biology, chemistry, also physics. Uh, so I was very interested about the things that I don't know, about the unknown. So I think that for me this is really the thing that sparkled my interest over the years and not something that uh, was really like appeared for me out of nowhere. Because I really like to know how the body works. So since I was a kid I was like uh, how this works, the systems. I was very good at it, so I had high grades. So it also sparkled more my interest because I was good at it. So uh, trying to figure out how things work uh, in our body was the thing that um, sparkled my interest the most. And then I fell in love with science, with the chemistry over the years because I didn't like chemistry at the beginning. But then I realized that, okay, with chemistry, I can do a lot of things. I can combine this and this and I can do another thing. I can. Uh, make things grow that were not um, in the beginning. So this for me was a growing interest allied to the bi biology uh, part. I wanted to be a vet uh, when I was a kid and for a lot of years I, want to be a, I wanted to be a vet because my uh, aunt and also my grandfather are vets. Uh, but then I uh, realized that it, they started to tell me, oh you don't have a future in this and very difficult to have a future in this so I went to an even more difficult way <laughs> <laughs> and I chose to be a scientist yeah. And uh, is it worth it? Yes, uh, 100 times worth it. I think that um, there's there are a lot of things here that are rewarding. Being able to uh, supervise students to uh, help people grow and fall in love with science is, I think that is one of the most beautiful things that I do every day and one of the most rewarding things. And also, being a scientist, you have the opportunity to have something in your hands or to think about something that no one ever thought about or did. So I think that is really rewarding and it's really my passion when what I'm passionate about. Uh, regarding challenges, I think the biggest one is mental stability. Being able to deal with frustration, with bad results in the early years of your career and then when you start growing in science, being able to deal with rejection of papers, rejection of proposals, because there are a lot, um, it can really take a toll on you. But after some time you also deal with things differently, you grow a little bit and you start to realize that it's the system, it's not you, it's not you. Uh, so, uh, I think that is one of the biggest challenges that we, we have to face. Also, um, not being able to have uh, contracts, it's also a problem, especially in Portugal. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's a difficult question and, uh, and for me it's very difficult because I don't like to make plans. I'm not a planner type of person, so I don't... I don't aspire to any type of title, prestigious position. I think that as long as I'm happy doing what I do and I maintain my principles and my values, I, I'm happy with it. So I can, be, uh, I can be here, I can be in another place doing another thing, but I will be, um, I need to be happy and maintain my values. Well, if I am able to continue my research here in ZSECO, if I am able to be funded and continue my research with my students, I would very much like to do that because that's something that keeps me happy every day. Uh, but if not, I'm a researcher with a PhD, I can do whatever. <laughs> well, I think that the first thing uh, I need to tell the young students is do not enroll a PhD only because your friends will do it or only because you will have a three or four year scholarship. If you go because of that, it, you will get frustrated very quickly, you will demotivate very quickly. So really think about if you want this, if this is the thing that you want the most, deal it, you have to know that you will deal with frustration, with bad results, so um, that's really um, a thing that you should think about before. The second thing I want to tell to young, younger generations trying to figure out a way in science is 
let yourself be amazed by small things. Uh, it's really difficult, you are always searching for the intangible, for things that are really far away from us. So every day, let yourself be amazed by one good result, by one good thing that you have, because that will, uh, small steps every day and will, you will reach your objective. Be humble, be kind, be organized, uh, be kind to everyone and uh, you will have success, that's for sure. <laughs>